Hey everyone, Jason from AlphaTone Audio back again today, and I want to do a quick assembly video on the square plug SPS4 and SPS5 plugs. If you have a loop switcher or something like that on your pedal board, these are my favorite plugs for something like that because as far as a quarter inch plug, these are about as short as you can get. So they're not taking up a lot of depth on your pedal board. You can get that first row of pedals really, really close to your loop switcher. So the SPS4 and the SPS5, they are identical in every single way except for one. The SPS4 on the left has a slightly smaller exit hole. Uh, the SPS5 on, on the right here has a slightly larger one. So basically smaller cables go in this one and larger cables go in this one. So, and the, uh, the assembly process for the two plugs is identical as well. So for today, I'm going to do the SPS4 and I've got some Mogami 2314 here. So to start, simply just unscrew and you're going to have in here, there's going to be a small insulator, which doesn't want to come out. Yeah, you're going to have this little ring and make sure you keep that. It's just a little insurance that your solder tabs aren't going to ground out to the body of the plug. So that usually stays in there pretty well. So that stays in and you have your two screws. You don't need to take them out. You just need to back them off. So the exit hole is clear. Okay. Now make sure when you start doing your cable, put this on right away. So you don't forget about it and you solder it on, you go to put it together and it's too late. So you don't need to strip very much at all on these, only about a quarter inch which is kind of the point with these because they're, they're very short. You can always strip a little bit more if you need and then trim it, that's totally fine. Just get our shield together here. Okay, and then I'm going to strip this back about two thirds of the way. I'll kind of just organize everything a little bit. Okay, and that's what we want right there. And for the actual plug, when it comes out, this is usually a little bit straight. Uh, if not, go ahead and bend it down just a little bit at like a 45 degree angle and this bottom one we can leave alone. And I'm just gonna put that in the vise. Okay, solder iron's ready to go. So I'm gonna tin this up. I'm gonna tin the whole conductor and then just about half of the shield down there. So now we get ready to assemble. It's going to take the shield, drop it down through the hole in the bottom tab and kind of line this up. You can get them both at the same time. That is ideal. Something like that looks good. This one on the bottom. A little bit long, so I'll trim it just a hair. And usually on something like this, I'll just come with the new nose pliers and I'll just crimp that up. So everything's nice and snug. And just, you want the wire making good contact. Now again, something I talk about all the time, you just wanna make sure that nothing's gonna move when you get ready to do the assembly. Now on these ones, uh, this be, depending on how much cable you have hanging off here, you may want to bring in like a helping hand or something like that. This is standing up by helping hand. And I only use these on plugs like this, pretty much the SPS plugs. And I use them on the nitric, like uh, NP2Xs, NP3Xs, that kind of thing, because the strain relief isn't part of the body that you're soldering on. So it can be nice to have a little bit of additional, well, a little bit of a helping hand on there. So and on mine, like I said before, I actually will file those teeth down a little bit and I'll put a little bit of heat shrink on there just so it doesn't leave teeth marks in my cable. So it doesn't take much. And then do the assembly. And 
that's what we're looking for. Now at this point, you may need to bend that bottom tab up just a little bit, depending on how much wire you actually have on the bottom, just so your barrel comes up and hits the threads cleanly. And again, this PVC, it's gonna come up pretty much all the way right here to the end of this tab, because when you screw this on, when you put on, uh, when you tighten down the strain relief screws, you wanna make sure they're hitting this outside PVC jacket and they're not coming up short. So again, make sure that your insulator's in there. The screws on. And then the strain relief screws go down. And you don't need to torque these down. You'll feel that the head of the screw is just gonna come down flush to the body and that's all the, I mean, it doesn't make any sense to tighten anymore after that. And you, you can actually, I've done it on a couple plugs, you can actually strip these if you crank them down tight enough. So just tighten them down just so the bottom of the screw hits the, um, hits the body and maybe just like just a little bit more force after that just to make sure they don't get loose and come out and that's all you need. Now, if you really wanna double check this, you can unscrew, I'll go ahead and do it. You can unscrew these Again, once you put it on, take your barrel back off and you should see the dent here for where the screw and you should make sure that that circular dent that's made from the screw is 100% on the outer jacket of the cable and it's not like half on and half off. That means that your strip links were correct. And once you check that, again, just a quick reassemble, screw that back on and your two strain release screws and that's it. Again, these are great plugs for certain situations. I really like them. Do quite a bit of these on pedal board builds, especially with the loop switchers. So if you're in need of a stubby quarter inch TS plug, definitely check these ones out. That's all I have for this one. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.